Hi everyone, my name is Miss Riley. I'm a student teacher at Pleasant Valley. Readers, you have been working so hard to find the mood in the poems that you have been reading. I have to say that you are all developing a special superpower, the poetry inner ear. Today I wanna to teach you that readers have an inner ear that allows us to hear words on the paper. This will help us know how to read poems out loud and also helps us with comprehension. What this means is that we need to read poems differently depending on their mood. Some poems have very silly moods, so when we read them out loud, our voices might be happy. Some poems are very serious and solemn, so our voices would need to be more serious when we read those types of poems. I'm going to read aloud the poem at the zoo. As I read, I want you to listen closely to my voice. Use your inner ear to decide the answers to these two questions. Does it move fast or slow? Does it flow smoothly? Or do certain words need you to pause and make them stand out? At the zoo, William Makepeace Thackeray. First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the gray wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant a waven of his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. I'm going to read the poem again. This time, I'm going to think closely about these two questions. Think along with me. First I saw the white bear. Then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the gray wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant, a waven of his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. Let's look at our questions. Does it move fast or slow? This poem moves pretty fast while I'm reading it out loud. The rhyme scheme makes it easy for the lines of the poem to connect together. Does it flow smoothly or do certain words need you to pause and make them stand out? One thing that really stood out to me was that this poem was flowing really smoothly until the very last line and that everything changed. Did you catch how the author kind of tricked us? I thought for sure that he was going to say that the monkey stunk. That way it would follow the rhyming of the poem. I think the author did this on purpose. He must have written it this way so that the last line would stand out even more. Those monkeys must not smell very good at all. By thinking about these two questions, I can tell that the mood of this poem is happy. Let me read it aloud one more time so I can practice matching my voice to the mood. You can practice reading out loud with me. Remember to make your voice sound light and happy while reading. First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the gray wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant, a waven of his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. Now, here's your job for today. Choose your favorite poem that you have read so far. Write a few sentences about the mood of the poem. Use the two questions we discussed today to help you determine the mood. Once you have found the mood, practice reading it out loud in the correct mood. Share it with someone in your house. Ask if they thought that you conveyed the mood. That's all for today. See you next time.